International. Anti-austerity protesters are gathering in the British city of Manchester, where the ruling Tory party is holding its annual conference. Activists started arriving on Saturday. Ahead of the five-day event, up to 80,000 people are expected to descend on the city in the coming days. Lisa Ali is in Manchester for us, and let's get more. Lisa, hi there. Well, do bring us uh, the mood from the streets. What's happening right now? Well, as you join us, we've reached the end of the official uh, protest. The protesters have been walking for hours and we've had um, tens of thousands. Uh, the organizers saying we've had 80,000 people here today. And judging by the sheer waves of people uh, marching outside this Conservative Party conference, that would seem to be quite an accurate uh, prediction. People have been walking from the Oxford Road uh, in the, uh, to the east of where we are now, uh, and they've been marching for a variety of reasons. And right now we're heading over to uh, an area where the People's Assembly are holding an event which itself has been sold out for weeks and has 10,000 people inside a hall just down the road this way. Behind us, uh, behind the cameraman, should I say, we have uh, the Conservative Party conference going on behind a huge uh, ring of steel of police uh, and other private security contractors making sure that these protesters don't get anywhere near that conference. And we've been milling around and walking around with these protesters and talking to them. Uh, and as you're going to see now, uh, many of them giving us very varying reasons as to why they've come out today to protest against the Conservatives. What we're here have here today is a huge uh, protest against the austerity, protest against Tory policies that are attacking our human rights, attacking our unions, attacking the poorest people in society. I see every day how there's more and more cuts on our services, so we're really struggling to provide you know, the services that children and families need, really, to keep them together. What the government's doing, cutting benefits and services for ordinary people, is actually going to make a difference. Um, they've got a huge deficit and they're just benefiting people already well off. And many of these protesters really eager to talk to us uh, and tell us about how uh, upset they are, have been about a variety of things over the last five years of not just uh, coalition government, but now since May, uh, the first majority Conservative Party uh, for decades. And many of them seeing the Conservative Party policies as being an attack on the poor and vulnerable in this country. But we've also seen many people, plenty of people, wearing pin badges uh, with the name of Jeremy. Jeremy Corbyn on them and it's clear that his recent election uh, as the new leader of the Labour Party has really invigorated this movement and in particular the left in this country in order uh, to start a movement against the austerity measures of the Tory party. All right, so thanks very much for this update live from Manchester.